What's going on guys? I'm Exotic Gaming. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I sure am. Take a look outside the window. I'm in Singapore. This is my first YouTube video I've recorded outside of the country and I just gotta say Singapore is probably the coolest city I've ever visited in my entire life. It is awesome. Now, getting to today's video, as you guys can see right here, I have a very special gameplay video that we're going to be reacting to. This gameplay is on Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, the game that everybody is talking about right now, the game that some YouTubers have gotten access to. I have not, myself, I would love to, but I do have some gameplay that I'd like to share with you all because this is probably some of the best gameplay you're going to see for Call of Duty Warzone Mobile right now. This gameplay is about 20 minutes it's long and it ends with a 25 kill win all right this person gets the victory gets the win and it's insanely cool gameplay that i think a lot of you guys are going to want to see and most of you guys would not be able to see this gameplay because i got this off of chinese youtube somebody recorded this in china and they uploaded this to chinese youtube and most people don't check chinese youtube so most people would never get to see this gameplay and I downloaded it and I wanted to share it with you all and the credits is down below in the description if you'd like to see the original video but you're not going to see it in as good of quality on Chinese YouTube as you will right here because you have to like create an account to get a high definition video and stuff like that and it's just it's kind of sketchy I'm not going to lie so I'm removing the sketchy aspect to it to just upload it to regular YouTube for you all but um Yes, real quick, make sure to leave a like if you're excited for Warzone Mobile. I know I am, and subscribe down below because whenever I get access to the game, I'm going to start making videos on it. If you want to have another YouTuber to watch for Warzone Mobile, you might as well subscribe. And as you're watching this video, take a second and notice some of the things that you think need improvements, obviously aside from the graphics because we realize this is a very early version of the game and graphics are not fine, okay? I don't want to see 10 billion comments from people saying, wow, it looks really bad, because yes, we know, we know, it's an early version of the game, so just calm down, all right? Don't be saying that, like, all over my comment section. I know the second I say that, everybody's gonna do it anyways. You can do that and harass me, it doesn't freaking matter to me, but, uh, yeah. Um, I would like if you guys could comment down below some of your, like, overall thoughts and opinions and stuff like that. Um... One thing that I would like people to do is give their opinions, like, comparisons between this and the PC version of Warzone. Because I never really got into PC Warzone. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on it. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers is Acolyte. I don't know if you guys have heard of him before. Um, but I never actually really played it too much myself. So maybe some of you guys who've played the PC version of the game can give a better, you know, feedback and comparison between the mobile version and the PC version, but overall, it seems like it's a one-to-one -one scale, same map as the original map in Warzone, um, Verdansk, I believe it's called, which is great. Um, it's most likely gonna have the same weapons, and over time, probably the same skins, and there's probably gonna be, like, exclusive mobile stuff, though I would assume there's not gonna be too many exclusive mobile things. It's gonna be very similar to Fortnite Mobile in that you're gonna have like exclusive skins for certain phones. Like if you remember with Fortnite Mobile back in the day, um, the Samsung Galaxy, I don't know, it was like the S8 or the S9 or something like that, got an exclusive Galaxy skin. Um, and if you saw somebody with that, you knew that that person was playing on a Samsung Galaxy device, even if you were playing on PC because there was crossplay. A lot of people are going to say that mobile players are going to have a disadvantage. Um, but, you know, honestly, I think a lot of people doubt the skills of mobile players. A lot of mobile players are really good. Um, you know, you can use four, five, even six fingers at a time when you're playing games like this. Like the person that we're watching right here. I don't know how many fingers they're using. They're probably using four. They might be using five. I'm not really sure with that HUD layout that we see right there. But, you know, a lot of people underestimate mobile players. And uh, I think we can do pretty well. I think we can actually compete against the PC players. Um, but before too many people click away from this video, I do want to talk about some pretty important things regarding this game. Pre-registrations are open which means you can pre-register right now on Google Play for Android devices. I don't believe there's an iOS pre-registration right now, and that's just because, like many other games that we play right now, um, they end up having beta tests for Android devices first. 
that's just how it works. Android is a lot easier to like get into the market. You can do betas, you can do alpha tests and stuff like that. You can even release it not on the Google Play Store and you can download just from Google Chrome if you wanted to. Um, so that's why a lot of these game developers choose to do it for Android first. Um, but the most important thing that we need to know about that is the fact that there's a system in place for Google Play where once a game has pre-registrations available, look at that, look at this. I have to say, wow, this person's good. This person's really, really good. Um, but getting back to what I was saying there, um, once pre-registrations are available, that means that the developer has to have the game in some sort of beta states available to download within 90 days. So once you see pre-registrations available, you have to have the game available to be played somewhere around the world within 90 days. That means it's going to come out in a beta test before the end of the year. And some people that are watching this video, depending on which country you live in, are going to be able to play the game before the end of the year. I would assume in November, could be early December, it's probably not going to be like mid-December because they're not going to push it that soon. Um, but, you know, it's probably going to be like November or early December, something like that. And um, I would assume they're probably going to do it the same way that a lot of these other games are doing, where you do some sort of test with a couple of different countries around the world. Um, with Rainbow Six Mobile, they've done a test with U.S., Canada, Philippines, Mexico, Singapore, India, and Brazil, those seven countries. I don't think it's going to be for seven countries. It might be like for two or three countries. And there's a good chance it might be for the Philippines. Um, it could also be for China. And it could also be for the United States. Um, there's a good chance that it could be one of those countries. It could also be something entirely different. I don't remember what Call of Duty Mobile had back in the day in like, what? What was it? 2018 or something like that. Um... But if we, if you can go back and you can see what countries Call of Duty Mobile's first beta test was for, then I would say it's most likely going to be those similar countries as well. So expect some sort of beta test before the end of the year, and whenever that does happen, I'm going to make a video explaining how you can actually get the game. So yeah, it's going to be really cool. You you might want to subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, but yes, anyways, we're watching the gameplay right here. This person has gotten eight kills so far. And I love the game mechanics of Warzone Mobile. I know a lot of people criticize the, the little hit marker. They say it feels cheap and weird, but I honestly like that. Maybe I'm, I'm in the abnormality here when it comes to that, but I love the little jiggle of the crosshair. It just, it just gives that like unique feel to Warzone that you don't have with these other games. Um, this is our first vehicle gameplay here, which it looks good. It looks pretty solid. It's pretty comparable to, to any other game, honestly, right now. And um, I know there's going to be a lot of people, like I said, that are going to complain about the graphics. But really, what you need to do is wait until some sort of beta test comes out where more people are going to be able to play the game. And then you're going to really get to actually compare it between that and like the beta version of Apex. Because um, I think that's another good game that you can compare it to. Apex has some of the best graphics out of any mobile battle royale game. That's going to be like a good benchmark. And it doesn't necessarily really even have to be that much better in terms of how it looks compared to Apex, because I feel like most people are satisfied with the graphics that Apex Legends Mobile has. Obviously, the game needs to be, like, run better than Apex Legends Mobile, but you don't... You sort of get to a point where games are so realistic looking and have good enough graphics where, like, it doesn't even matter. You don't have to continually make it more and more realistic. There's some graphical is issues right there that you can see. Definitely, that's something that needs to be worked on. There were some, like, floating containers and stuff like that, which is interesting. And I'm also noticing with all of these gameplay... All of these gameplays that we're watching, it seems like everybody has just, like, a random letter and number username. I think everybody just gets, like, a generic username like that. I don't know if you're allowed to, like, create a custom username yet. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong with that. This person is only about halfway done through their gameplay, and they are already doing insanely well. And this is the type of gameplay that I would hope to get when I record Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, because it's like, you don't really have too many dull moments. I am noticing in this gameplay, there's a lot of very dark areas inside. And I think they might need to, like, work on the lighting a little bit, because it's too much contrast. It's too much contrast. Like, shadows end too abruptly. Um, the lines need to be like a little bit more of a fade and then when you go inside there's just too many dark areas indoors 
I mean, you know, obviously it kind of makes sense if you're in a room that doesn't have any lights, but it's like, you know, you have to kind of give some leeway because if there's people that are playing outside in the heats where their phone screen gets automatically a little bit darker, it's going to be really, really hard to see anything inside. And a lot of people like to play games maybe with their friends sitting outside. Maybe it's like lunchtime at school. Everybody goes outside. They're sitting at the table or something like that. And if it's bright outside and you have it this dark, um, in indoors areas in this game, that might be a little bit of a problem. I do like the HUD layout, though. The HUD customization, and I like the overall map design so far. Obviously, we know the map design is good because it worked for PC. Though there might be some changes that, that are needed for mobile to just make sense a little bit more. Uh, maybe that's where you guys can come in. If you're a person who plays regularly on PC, you can comment down below what things you think need to be changed for mobile to just make it make more sense. I like that there's a self-revive kit. That's really cool. Looks like this person's art. He's trying to pick it up. Maybe? No, he's trying to heal himself. <laughs> I think he was trying to pick up the self-revive kit for a sec. No, maybe there's an enemy. I'm just, I'm just oblivious. See... If this was me, if this was me, and I was in that situation, I would have probably died. Because I would have had no idea. I I'm, I have heads, headphones on right now, and I could not hear any footsteps. That's also because I'm talking too much, but whatever. That's besides the points. That's besides the points. Look at how many... Actually, no, I have to get rid of my face cam for a second. Look at the minimap and how many vehicles are on the minimap. That's insane. There's a lot. There's there's a lot of vehicles in this game, and I, I think there's helicopters and other stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I've seen any helicopter gameplay yet. Is there helicopters in the Warzone mobile version yet? I would assume so. It just looks good. It looks good. Game mechanics look good. And it seems like what they're doing is they're really prioritizing on the gameplay mechanics first. And then they're going to be working on the graphics later on. You don't necessarily have to work on the graphics first. And I think that's something that a lot of game developers kind of accidentally do when they're not necessarily that experienced when developing a game. They end up making the graphics super nice and pretty first. And then when they start to develop the game mechanics, they realize, oh shoot, it's not going to work, right? Or maybe it's just going to be so intensive that you literally can't even play it on a Nubia Red Magic phone or an Asus ROG phone, right? And then you're screwed because nobody with any normal phone are going to be able to play the game without it having tons of lag, overheating, and stuff like that. So if they're working on the game mechanics first, making it as smooth as possible, as polished as it can get, then they can work on making the graphics better and better and better until it reaches a point where it's pretty good for most devices. Um, I've heard rumors where, at least in these early stages, you need to have at least 5 gigabytes of RAM to play Warzone Mobile. That could be entirely wrong. Please let me know down below in the comments if I am wrong. But um, I would assume it's going to be lower than that when this game finally does come out. I would bet you could pretty easily play it on 4 gigs of RAM. Anything below 4 gigs of RAM might be a little bit iffy. Some devices with 3 probably can play perfectly fine, especially iPhones that have 3 gigabytes of RAM. Um... But anything below that, I would be hesitant to say that it's just going to work perfectly fine. Um, but obviously, it is being made by a massive game development company. So they're going to know how to optimize games pretty well. So yeah, it's probably going to be pretty decently optimized. Um, but ne it's not necessarily going to be one of those games where it's solely going to be focused on optimization. I think if they're really trying to make Warzone that big breaking point game where people can really truly see that mobile is on par with PC, you don't necessarily have to make it so optimized so it runs on lower end devices because then nobody's going to take the game seriously if they're a PC player. They're going to look at it and they're going to be like, oh, this doesn't even look very good because even though it runs well on a device with two gigabytes of RAM, it's not going to look as good as PC. So maybe they don't cut too many corners and then that way it can actually compete in terms of graphics with all of these PC games. And then it's going to bring a lot of new people in. I don't think, though, that this game is going to have the same level of impact when it first releases as some of the earlier Battle Royale games. I think a lot of people think that Warzone Mobile is going to have such a massive amount of people instantaneously downloading it and playing it, like PUBG, when PUBG Mobile first released. And 
I don't think it's going to be on the same level as PUBG Mobile. I don't think any Mobile Battle Royale game is going to have that same level of impact that PUBG Mobile did when it first released. Maybe over time, there's going to be as many players as PUBG Mobile, but I would expect there's going to be less people immediately downloading and playing the game um, in comparison to PUBG Mobile and even Call of Duty Mobile. So, um, that's that. This person currently has 17 kills right now. I mean, they're doing insanely well. We've just been watching the gameplay, and it's just really enjoyable. Warzone Mobile, I feel like, is one of those games where it's just a lot of fun to watch people play. Even even the PC version of the game, like I said earlier on in this video, I just like watching gameplays from people. I don't even play the PC version of the game, and I like, you know, willingly watch these videos. When I go on long plane flights, I'll download like 10 different Warzone videos on YouTube, and then I'll just watch them. Even though I don't play the game, it's just fun. That's an RPG. We got to see an RPG. Unfortunately, the person didn't manage to get the kill, but <laughs> pick up your sniper rifle. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. And it seems like whoever's playing this is very comfortable with the game. They're doing a very good job. I want to know who it is that actually recorded this gameplay. I have no idea. Um, but they're doing a really, really good job. So massive props to them. They've obviously been playing extensively, and they know what they're doing. Um... I think one thing that they could work on when they're improving the graphics and just the overall look and feel of the game is they need to make the game a little bit more saturated. It seems like it's very dull in color, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of person that just likes colorful games, and, you know, if you compare this with the PC version of the game, I, I think it has less color. I truly think it has less color, so I think they need to kick up the saturation a little bit, make it a little bit more colorful because it looks more fun and lively. It's supposed to be a fun, lively, and intense game, and if the colors are just very dull... Nice, good job. If the colors are very, like, dull, then it might just make people a little bit more bo bored. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He is going off. He is going off on everybody. That... It looks like that could be a bot, doesn't it? I wonder how many people... Um, of these are bots. I'm actually kind of curious. They say in the COD Next that there's going to be no bots, but it seems like at least right now in these early test gameplays that there are bots. Um, because I just, I see no reason why people would just stand in the middle of a field. Oh my god, oh my god, that's intense. I, I don't see why people would just stand in the middle of a field and crouch. So there's probably bots at least as of right now. There's some weird graphical glitches with lighting. Uh, you can see that there's like light coming in at the at the edges of the walls. That's something that needs to be worked on. And oh, I also notice that all of the enemies, the radar is on. That's definitely not something that's going to stay. Oh no, wait a minute. Maybe it's just because that guy was shooting. I don't know. I have no idea. Look at this. Yeah, I, I feel like these might be bots. Or they're just really bad players. It's entirely possible. I have no idea. But this guy's good. Whoever it is that's recording this gameplay, they obviously are not, like, playing it for their very first time. I know when I play this game for the very first time, I'm gonna probably suck. As will everybody who's, who's watching this video. So don't sit there and be like, oh, no, I'm gonna be a natural pro the second I start playing. No. <laughs> I'm going to suck, and you're going to suck, and we're going to all learn together, all right? Because this is going to be like the next generation of mobile battle royale games. It's going to be way more complicated. I think only Apex would be a game that's going to be pretty comparable in terms of how complicated it's going to be. Um, and maybe even Farlight 84. I really hope that game continues to be developed because that game that game's going to be really, really good as well. If they continue developing that game and making it better and better, that might be the three big games. Um, Apex... Warzone Mobile, and then um, Farlight 84. And then PUBG New States, if they continue, you know, trying to revive that game. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> the quality is so bad in this screen recording that I can't see. He got shot. Luckily, he has the self-revive kit. This guy's so lucky. He literally self-revived in the middle of the open and he didn't get shot. But then he's gonna put this thingy down. This is it. This is almost the end, almost the end of the game. Is that it? And there we go. 
There's the Warzone victory! Nice job to whoever that is. Do we get to see a little bit of, like, the ending scenes here? Yeah, we do! It looks like it's exactly the same as the PC version. That's really cool. The helicopter comes in, drops down the rope. You, the winner, just gets to climb up the rope, and then he's done. He gets to escape the war zone, and rides off into the sunset. Alwi938 was the player. No idea who that is, but well done to whoever it was. And that's basically it. I think the screen recording is going to randomly stop here. Do we get to see, like, their level or anything? No. No. Unfortunately not. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hopefully, that was entertaining to you guys. We talked about a lot of different things throughout this video, and we had an awesome Warzone mobile gameplay in the background. I really hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, please take a second and leave a like and subscribe down below for more Call of Duty Warzone mobile content. Um, whenever I get to play the game myself, I'm going to start making videos. But in the meantime, if there's cool gameplays like this that I think it's worth watching, I'm going to make a reaction style video like this to show you guys so you get to see them yourself. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode.